Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you along with me for my lesson. So the first thing that we're going to do is go and get our horse that I've been assigned to ride. Today I'm riding Mr. Rolo and there he is standing all by his lonesome. Rolo doesn't really get along with other horses all that well, but he loves people and that is what matters. So after he gets some cuddles and a tree, it's time to lead him out of the field and over to the barn. Uh, the footing used to be really bad out here in the spring when we had like a month of rain. It's dried up a lot now, but as you can see, there is quite some muddy patches and Rolo knows the best place to go. So he refuses to walk when I try to take him through a muddy area, bless him. Of course, we take a quick pit stop for Rolo to have a snack. Of course, before any ride, you gotta give your horse a good groom. It's a good way to bond with them, let them know that your touch feels good, especially for a horse that you're not all that familiar with. And as you can see here, Rolo's actually still shedding quite a bit, which I was really surprised to see. Most of the horses are done shedding at this point, but I also think he had a roll quite recently because he's very dusty. As you can see, the, all the dust coming to the surface when I use my curry comb. After a pause for some scratches, we take our dandy brush or hard brush and brush away all the dust that came to the surface. Because Rolo gets quite offended when other horses walk by, I like to close the door. But as you can see there, he opens it right up. He's got such a big personality on him. And look at all that dust look away. Isn't that so satisfying? And there is Rolo getting offended that Puma the pig just tried to go into his stall. As you can see, his legs are really muddy, so I've decided to leave them until after our ride and let the sand from the arena kind of dry up some of the mud on his legs. It'll be easier for me to take it off. Otherwise, I'm just gonna make the brush all muddy. So now I'm going to go through and pick out his feet. Rolo is one of those horses that you have to put very little pressure on his legs for him to pick up his feet. All I have to do is touch his leg and he's already picking up his feet for me. He's honestly such a good boy. Now it's time to grab our saddle pad and our tack and take it over to Mr. Rolo where we're gonna get him all ready for our ride. Now that Rolo's saddle is all on and his girth is put on the loosest hole, it's time to get the bridle and get him ready for bridling. Rolo is one of those horses that just opens his mouth for you. Of course, he needs a big yawn first. So there he is and opens his mouth first try, like honestly, the good boy that he is. Now that Rolo's all ready, we're gonna head our way down to the arena. And of course, we're going to ride outside today and take advantage of the nice weather while we can. And of course, Rolo's gonna have another snack before we head into work. Before we get on, we're going to do our prep steps. I check his nose band, his throat latch, as well as his girth. Make sure that it's tight, but not too tight. I check my stirrup length, and then of course we have to do the same to the other side as well. Poor Rolo, the flies and the mosquitoes were really bad at this time, so he was constantly trying to shake them off. Now that we've done all our prep steps, it's time to mount. I gather the reins, hop on the mounting block, and off we go. We start our ride off with walk just around the arena a couple laps and Rolo kept trying to steal another snack another little taste of grass a couple times he almost got me but I didn't let him because we're here to work we're not here to eat mm -hmm. 
After a couple of laps, it's time for us to pick up the trot. And as you can see, Rolo tries to sneak another snack, but I say, nope, let's keep trotting. And right about now, Rolo actually takes advantage of me a little bit and he manages to get a snack. I was fiddling with my stirrup and he took advantage of when I was not paying attention. So smart boy, but naughty boy. Rolo is a very forward horse and he's very strong. So if you're not paying attention, he can definitely take advantage of you. And he did it again to me here. This time he was just a little too strong. Next time we went around that side of the arena, I decided to steer clear of that corner and the wall of grass there just to see if it would help, and it did. And he did try again here on this corner, but this time I was too fast for him, and I got him. Now we're working on some circles over drop poles. I make sure that I look at the pole and where I want him to go well before I ask him to turn. We do this a couple of times on different ends of the arena. This time around when we were at the far end of the arena, I decided to take him by the wall of grass again to see if he would try and test me. He did break to a walk, but he didn't eat the grass, which is an improvement. Now it's time to switch directions and making sure that we also change our diagonal and move our crop to the inside hand. Once we switched over to the other direction, he didn't seem to be phased by the grass at all. And down this long side, we practiced two point over the poles while switching to sitting trot in between and then back to two point over the last set of poles again. Now it's time to switch to a quick walk break before we start our course. This course wasn't bad at all. Basically what we had just been working on, trot circles over poles, switching direction while ensuring that we switch our diagonal as well. We went twice over the side closest to home and then we changed direction, went down the middle, switched direction again, did a circle over on the far end and then we just had to halt at the end of the circle. And he's so good, you can see that his ears are back and he's listening to me looking for what the next move is. Now it's time for us to practice our canter. We've been cantering on the lunge line for the past two months, I want to say. And hopefully it's almost time for us to step off the lunge line and be on our own. And I'm honestly so excited, but kind of nervous at the same time. Rolo has quite a choppy canter, which I found really hard to sit. So as soon as I took my hand off the saddle, I was popping like popcorn all over his back. I felt really bad, but lately I've been riding smoother horses and it's honestly, the difference is crazy how much easier it is to sit their canter compared to Rolo's. But I did my best, he did his best, and that's what matters. And to finish off our lesson, our instructor let us take a quick walk down the road. And honestly, I love riding at this time of day. The sunset is gorgeous and the air is not too hot, not too cool. It was just the perfect time of day.
Of course, Rolo got to enjoy lots of snacks along the way because he was a good boy and he deserves it. So that completes our ride today. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more horsey content.